Yo, my name is Rory. This is my first video game. The game is called Spanky. It is a multiplayer party game of tag. And to tag other people, you have to slap them on the big, jiggly, gluteus maximus. And just like a million other people out there, I started my journey watching other YouTubers, other game developers, posting their videos and thinking to myself, <laughs> that looks easy. I can do that too. Uh, it was not. So I've been working on this game for just under two years now And I know you might be thinking to yourself like oh <laughs> This is oh, this is a stupid game But please I promise you regardless of the game's premise This is still content rich fulfilling game development So we're just coming up on about two years of development and we have only just completed our first alpha tests The point of these alpha tests is to test the game in real network conditions with eight people or a full lobby The most I ever had I think was four maybe four five and the game was basically broken now we're going to quickly shoot back to the very start of development if you want to skip this part i'll put a timestamp. you can skip forwards if you want to see a very condensed version of the development of this game watch this bit and then we'll get into the newer development leading up to the alpha tests So hopefully that wasn't too long. I just wanted to show that even in a game as simple as tag, there's multiple years of development. I didn't really have a very exact direction that I was going from the very start. You know, a lot of the development has been dynamic with lots of trial and error. So if you feel like you're not making a lot of progress on your games, it's not a race to the finish. No one's development is a straight line to the finish. Everyone's looks a little bit wobbly. That's enough yapping from me. Let's get into the new development changes. <laughs> So do you remember the old video games from the 2000s like Crash Bandicoots and Spyro the Dragons? And those video games would have awesome intros, it would be the, the company brand or the logo or, or whatever, but it would be cool, it would be interactive, it would have the character, the main character, interacting with the logo. Well, my colleague Blake and I, we both really like those styles of intros and we thought it'd be fun to try and recreate that, so that's exactly what I did. I hopped into Blender with our character, animated it, doing a jump and a slap, and then slapping our logo that would turn into the text version of the logo exporting that from After Effects, putting that into the engine with Landfall's logo as well because they funded the game, and uh, this is what the final looks like. Wait. Overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's quick, it's simple, it's fun, you can skip it if you want. While it's playing, it's also logging into the online services, so it's not a complete waste of time. And Blake and I both had the exact same reaction when we first watched it. It really just makes the game feel like a real game. So up until this point, the game hasn't had any sound effects or character sound effects, and that's pretty essential for an alpha test at least. So I bought a shotgun microphone, I recorded every movement that there was in the game, like running, sprinting, climbing, cutting everything up into individual sounds, slapping that in the game, and it just made the characters feel so much more alive. <laughs> So one thing Blake and I really wanted to get in the game before the alpha tests was a spectator mode so that we could join full lobbies but not take up a player slot. We wanted to be able to be in the game and spectate live as people are playing. That way we wouldn't have to get people to share their screens with us or share recordings with us. It meant that we could just join a game, be flying around and see the game. We weren't sure exactly how to code it. The way we implemented it is so that you're just an invisible actor that can fly around the scene and every time you click it'll find the next person to spectate and it will attach 
attach you to them. So you basically get to spectate everyone with your own smooth camera, regardless if people are lagging, you have your own connection to the game and you're your own actor. With the camera smoothness, it doesn't really look laggy at all. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I got the widget, very nice. Nice, nice, nice. Spectating works. Very nice. Can you hide? Can you hide the thing? Oh my god! I can hide the thing. I Did can it. press J to smooth it. Oh, very smooth. Cinematic, if I've ever seen it. How are you gonna get it? I, I, I will set up a cinematic shot. This is actually lit. Smooth cam following you around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get it. So yeah, this is what the final looks like in game. You can still use the scoreboard, see everyone running around. You can see if you're free cam and you've got little controls down the bottom corner. I think it's very nice. Time for some music, baby. Now, I wasn't really sure how to do music in Unreal Engine. Up until this point, I just would get the song, the entire file, and just play it through a sound cue. But I found this $40 pack, and at first I thought it was a music pack, but it actually comes with a blueprint system called the Syzygy music system. And it's got very in-depth, handy features for playing tracks. And the tracks can specifically be set up into different instrument layers and different looping parts. So that way you can blend different layers is in and out and then you can transition different sections of the music on the beat so that the transitions are seamless. So we worked with the composer Sam Shandley to get a single demo track for the alpha tests and I gave them a one page document and I basically said I want four guys, the vibes from a dodgeball game that we played, I don't remember the name of it, uh, Knockout City. Sam basically knocked it out of the park. I'm gonna play a few sections of it, not the whole track, but just listen to how goddamn banging and, and vibey and, and spanky this music sounds. massive shout out to Sam and I just want to say if you're interested in this system definitely consider picking up Caravan Frontier Fantasy but it's not really marketed as its own system but look at all these functions that it comes with there's no way I'd be making all of this by myself uh, so if you want dynamic music definitely check this out so now we're at the point of the video where I'm just going to play a couple funny clips of Blake and I testing the game and discovering lots of nice fun bugs. And then after this, we get on to the actual alpha tests. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to hide, but I was so goddamn bad. No, 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 no. Where are you? No. <laughs> Give me that power up. Oh. Oh no, my grapple broke straight away. What are you doing? <laughs> You're in the ground for me. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, it looks fine for me. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Assassin's Creed. Oh, <laughs> no, he thought. <laughs> He's tricky. Ah, no! No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't! <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, three times in a row that have, it's made me lag. Oh, no! No! <sighs> this is not good, Blake. You, you weren't experiencing any... Oh, okay, I crashed again. And... Crashed again. Did you go? <laughs> oh, I crashed. Oh, fatal error. Uh oh. Oh, big lag. Lots of lag. Watch, watching this back, I did not realize how goddamn buggy this game is. My lord. A lot of those bugs were still present in the alpha tests, but we pushed on. They got less frequent, but they did they did persist. Here is some alpha test footage. Hopefully no one gets uh, kicked. If you do get kicked in the middle of a game, you can join back. It might break your HUD a little bit. I keep moving connection. Oh, connection lost. It's happening. It's oh happening. no! Oh! Oh, what do you like? Yeah. Is oh, everyone so it? Is that how it works? Do we just play normally or should how we, do we play? Yeah. Apparently I'm it. I, I tagged Romlich. Does that mean I'm not it? No, I'm still it. I am it. I've rejoined and my character's in, but I can't interact at all. <laughs> <laughs>
My bush. I can't tell who's it or not. It's just like everybody. With the grapple thing, you just get one use of it, even if you don't attach anything. I'm, I'm somehow bouncing while laying prone. Oh, can we let you, Lucy, get shit on? <laughs> I'm going to do 360s while laying down and bouncing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, uh, he has all of the tag. He said he can't move or use escape. <laughs> this <Dead> is <laughs> That's how we like it. In a bounty. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, we will die. We die. We will. It's so close. <laughs> Brain, we just hit a lot of the time. Yeah. It, I didn't realize I was hit for like half of it. You get more points for like certain movements you do. It's just the faster you go. Some like power ups or sliding will make you go a lot and get more points. I wish you could grapple oh. to this fallen tree. Oh, you can. <laughs> no, that's what I get. <laughs> God damn it. As soon as I get rid of one. Yeah, the grapple is like kind of broken, but <clears throat> yeah. when it works, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, I found this trap. Damn it. I dolphin dive around the outskirts and I get like plus 10 every time. Yeah, you sweat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, almost full. No. Yeah, come back God here. Damn, I just fell. <laughs> yeah, come on, give mine to you. No. I'll give you another one. I'll give Damn you that one. You can take mine. I fell. No. <laughs> I can just hear. <laughs> There's three of them between the two of us, and we're just spamming each other. <laughs> yeah, you got all three. No. <laughs> I thought I was doing good. <laughs> oh man. Oh. No. 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 Yoink. Oh, I. Oh, come on. Oh. oh what was that? Oh, I sniped you. Yeah. No, no, no! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> get back here! No. That was so bad. Yeah. Like once you get really good at this, people are gonna be insane at like movement. Yeah, the movement's clean. And I think that's a good spot to stop it here. The biggest takeaways we got was that the earlier sessions when people didn't know what was happening and we didn't explain what was happening, people were a lot more confused and that's kind of an obvious thing. And we didn't really explain the way you get points in the game. We didn't explain the mechanics. We just told people that it's a game of tag. So for the first few games, there was a lot of confusion or a loss of direction. And that's probably the biggest note that I took away was that if you're a tagger, it's obvious your role is to tag other players. But if you're a runner, there is no direct goal. You could just run circles around the whole maps and just get points. Overall, this has made us a lot more confident in the game. We saw people having trouble, but we also saw lots of people having fun and laughing around. Just amazing to see everyone enjoy and play the game. So development is going really well. If you like this video, subscribe, stick around. We aim to get the game done by the end of this year. Okay, see you next time. Thanks, bye.